And welcome back, class, to The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. When we left off, we had made this beautiful grand armor. Now it's time to go talk to Yorbeth before we enter the amphitheater and see what's going on with uh, the Summit of Mages. So join me, won't you? On our magical adventure through Edder. Lockmoyne. Is that Yorbeth? Doesn't look like Yorbeth. Hello? In a hurry to get to the deliberations. Has Saskia spoken yet? That cunt inspired dreams of freedom among the peasantry. Now all Eden stands in flames. Yeah. Peasants slaughtered nobles. As they should. They just wanted a free Vergen. Free Vergen? To hell with a lot of you! Do I have to beat him up? No? Alright. Freedom. A magic word. It can replace nourishment, inspire the masses to fight. Those who cry freedom can perform miracles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stannis underestimated the meaning of freedom when he poured poison into the mouth of one who spoke that word earnestly. Those of you said there was no proof. Edern has no king. It has no ruler. Instead, it has famine, disease, bandits, and poverty. The fight for freedom is always good, but then rulers must be chosen and it all starts again. Yeah. Yet the free are joyful, even if a bit hungry. Free needle males and free. Love that movie. Okay. So gotta go talk to Yorbeth. Let's talk to the bearded she elf while we're here. Do I have enough money to see her beard? No. I don't. Sorry guys. No beard today. Actually I can sell a bunch of stuff off to her husband. Maybe if it'll let me talk to him. There we go. I'd really, really like it if they could release a fix for that bug. That's one of the reasons I was... Nice. That's one of the reasons that I was uh, holding off on playing this game. I kept hoping that uh, they would release a fix for that issue that I'm having where you can't target things properly. So that'd be nice, you know? Don't need that more. Dragons are immune to bleeding, and I think I'm gonna have to fight a dragon, so. Da, 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 da. Not gonna be any more insectoids or necrophages or specters. Don't need this. So, 291? Good. Let's go see that beard. Some of you were upset. You have strange fetishes. Come on. Talk to me. Almost got it. Almost got it. Come on. There we go. Buy something. Show me your beard. Fine. I'll bite. Show me. That'll be too. Bye. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Stop. Ah! You want to buy some? Show me your beard. Fine. I'll bite. That'll be 200 orans. Okay, deal. Two hundred. There you go, kids. Was it worth it? Was it everything you ever dreamed of? This beard. Prepare for your final lesson. Final? But I'll have no discussion. Can we talk to her about this, this now. This will be a or? practical object lesson. You learn what a sorceress but, you know, can never agree to under any greetings. Hey, stop talking about sorcery. I got stuff to do. Alright, Yorbeth. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? There you are. I see you took care of the guards. Is that necessary? I hate those monastic curs. <laughs> They're not paragons of virtue, true. But they were just doing their job. Then they didn't do it well enough. Obviously. Can we go now? It's time. Let's yes, bring this let's house go. down. Time to finish it. That's what she said. Sorry, had to get a final immature joke in before the end of the game. 
Oh man, swagger. Nice amphitheater. What's left of it? I like the giant lizard. Whether man you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire north. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At Not present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Oh, which, if I understand Radevid. correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Eden no longer controls Upper Eden. We have rejected Prince Stennis. So I heard. And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar government. Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. Okay. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. So? The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that Ooh, case, you sense. must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? Or march on the Pontar Valley. Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh uh uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. Good time she to was enter. in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. That's what happened to Triss. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. <laughs> the Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to cowherds at most. God, these guys are arrogant That pricks. is true, your majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Oh, God damn it! Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard Nilfgaard. in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? Let's hear it. Nutho! How you doing, buddy? What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. Tried? He attempted to take an Imperial Envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Uh-oh. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Uh-oh. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses. We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, involved. Kira Metz, Francesca Finderbear, Ida Amin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzerville. 
to bring To my here. deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa the Vigo, are also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our Queen left to powder her nose. Hmm? Saskia left? And... Oh god, these jerks. Bloody road. Your Majesty, whatever. what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorceress. Well, this is gonna go badly for everyone involved. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Nguyen. Oh. A court of law will reveal the traitors. Dun dun. Guru. Hmm. Man, we are way out of time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like this is going to be an extra long episode, because here comes Saskia. <laughs> She literally just stepped on him. Uh. Okay, well, Saskia is doing Sheila's bidding now, which is bad. We've gotta go save the day, I guess. Are we gonna get time to start a new episode, or is this just gonna be like a 40 minute long episode? Oh dear. Really have to set quite everything on fire? I need to run sometimes. Get up! Okay, we'll return in the next episode to fight a dragon. Till then, all the best.